On today's DAS tutorial, I'm going to do another uh, lighting method uh, in, in my quick and easy lighting category. Um, I'm always looking for really just simple ways to light a, a scene that's not very complicated. And today I'm going to show you how you can turn any object into a light source. So if you haven't seen my uh, using primitives as a light source, you might want to check that one out first. This is a similar method, um, but it's going to offer you a little bit less control. It's also a little bit quicker and easier. So if you just need like a really simple lighting setup for a very simple scene, this might work for you. And I honestly just discovered this trick, so I'm still trying to figure out ways to use it, but it's kind of fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with it. So it's really, really simple. Um, so I have my um, scene set up already. I'm using the Euro Bedroom. I'll, I'll link to that product in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And this scene already comes lit. Um, as you can see, it's not very well lit. It's just got some lamps here in the background. That's pretty much my only lighting source. And it's also got cameras um, already dropped in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this a little bit better by turning this chair into a lighting source. So the first thing you want to do when you're selecting the object that you want to turn into a lighting source is you want to make sure that the objects in your room are separate. Uh, for instance, this one has a chair and a bed and pretty much everything else is tied together. So I couldn't do like the curtains or the ceilings or the walls. If I tried to do any of those, then it would turn the entire room basically into a light except for the bed and the chair. So in this one, those are really my only options. Uh, I've got a couple of things over here on the desk and the uh, flowers, but I'm going to use this chair as a lighting source. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select it either in the scene or you can use the scene hierarchy up here at the top right. I've got the chair selected there. Um, once you have your chair selected, you want to go to the Surfaces tab, and then you have to select the chair in the Surfaces tab hierarchy. So you have to click it over here or it won't work. So when you click it over there, you'll see a whole bunch of other options appear on the right side. So we're going to scroll down a little ways until we get to one that says, let me see. There it is, you're looking for emission color. And right now it's set on pure black, 000, uh, which means that it's not emitting any color at all. So you can make this any color you want. So to start, I'm gonna select just pure white. So I'm gonna pick white down at the bottom, and then I've gotta select my uh, shade slider and put it all the way at the top, and then hit OK. There we go and pretty much nothing changes. You can see the chair gets a little bit brighter um, on parts of it, but it's a very, very subtle effect. You can't really tell. But we have all of these other uh, controls. We have these lighting controls now that appear under the emission color where these weren't here before. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start bumping up the luminance until I start to see some light. There we go. Now it's starting to light our scene a little bit. I'm gonna bump that up a bit more. And as I bump that up, our scene starts to get noticeably brighter. I'm going to come up even more than that. You might have to move it a whole bunch, depending on the size of your object, uh, before it starts lighting everything really well. There we go. That is starting to get about to where I want it. Um, all right. Now, right now, I've got this huge bright chair in my scene. So obviously, if you use this method, you want to position your camera so that your chair uh, or whatever object you're using isn't uh, visible in the scene. So I'm gonna to switch to this top corner camera, which is camera three. So now I can see the light that the chair is giving off, but I can't see the chair itself. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of a, a nighttime scene. Uh, so I'm bumping the temperature up a little bit to give it more of a bluish hue. And I'm also gonna change the emission color into more of a bluish color. So now it's gonna give more of a moonlight glow. There we go, and you can already see that kind of a uh, kind of dark uh, look taking effect. I'm gonna bump that up a little bit more dramatically. There we go. So again, not the greatest lighting setup. Um, I could definitely get a lot better effect by either using a primitive or by using something like a three-point lighting setup or using ghost lights. But um, again, if you're just going for a really, really quick lighting setup, um, this is a really easy way to do that. You don't have to create any objects. You can use whatever's in the scene and just mess with your emission color, uh, the temperature, and the luminance. really just about all you have to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit the render button on this, and we'll check it out in a few minutes and see what the finished product looks like. 
And there's our finished render. Uh, all in all, not bad at all. It creates a kind of even lighting. Um, again, we've got that dusky kind of a look from the uh, from the from the blue tint in the light. A couple of things you could do with this are um, the main thing I would say is just to try a different emission color on the chair. You could do like in more of an orange or a red color to get kind of a sunset look. Um, instead of this dusky look, or you could do a pure white light to do it to do a midday look. There are a couple of things that you could do with it, but uh, again, not the uh, not the best lighting. There are definitely better ways to get more impressive lighting, but just for a really quick render, if you need a really fast, very simple lighting setup, um, I think this might be might be one of my go tos. Even if I need something quicker than using a, a primitive, it's kind of the same basic idea. But uh, again, yeah, if you uh, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got lots more of these coming up later, and uh, I had pretty good response from my video last Friday, my werewolf scene setup. So I'm going to have another one of those coming this Friday, a full scene setup. Um, I've got a couple of ideas planned for those this month that I'm really excited about, and I think everybody will like them. Uh, but that'll do it for now. Um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.